Hello, I'm Mr. B Bates One, and welcome back to another how to video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at making our very own pack for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now, before we start, there is a small element of knowledge required in order to make your own packs for Minecraft. You will need to have a basic understanding of your device and how to access your Minecraft world files, just so you'll be able to follow along with this tutorial and understand what's going on. Now, the tutorial itself is based on Windows 10 edition, but in theory, in terms of folder replacement and things like that, this should work on any device. You're probably thinking then, so what different packs can you actually make for Minecraft? Well, there's resource packs to change how things look. There's behavior packs to change how things run. And then there's skin packs to make the player feel more immersive. Hello. In today's episode, we are going to be looking at resource packs. So without further ado then, let's get into today's episode. So here we are today directly on minecraft.net forward slash add-ons. If you're new to modding in Minecraft, then this is where you want to be. They offer you the ability to download unmodified Minecraft files to give you a good place to start now to make your own resource packs or your own behavior packs and things like that. And it just sort of aids you in coming up with your own packs in general. Now this tutorial will be under the impression that you've already created something and that you now want to test it in Minecraft. Now as you may have seen in the intro, I replaced the look of the different armors in Minecraft with Iskel 85's Poggers merch, I think it was called back then. Let's take a look how I actually created this. So first of all then I created my folder for the main, put all my main files in, and inside this folder we have it like so. So first off then we have the pack icon. Now this is a, a, an icon that's 256 by 256 wide, and this is used for the look in Minecraft, and this is how it will look uh, in the actual options when you go to add it in the pack. Now in this case, I've just used the default brick. I've left it as it was. I didn't see any need to change it, but you can obviously change it to whatever you need it to be. And then we have the manifest file, which is again the JSON file, which just tells Minecraft what your pack is. And then whatever your actual, and then from this point it'll be whatever the actual folders that relate to your resource chain. So in this case then, I changed the actual armor, so it was textures, models, armor, and then the actual armor files in there. Now, for those of you that don't know, um, I think it was on one of the Hermitcraft videos that Iskel85 did when he uh, first released his merch, he actually put a link in the download for a resource pack that allowed uh, Java players to change the armor in their worlds to look like his merch. Now, unfortunately, that was for Java, not for Bedrock. So, I downloaded that pack. Now, luckily for us, the actual main files themselves are exactly the same between Bedrock and Java. All we needed to do was just change the structure and then import it back into Bedrock again for it to look how it does look. Now, all I did then was just place those armor files in there, created the folder structure, and updated the manifest to do so. And that's exactly what you would do. So if you changed pickaxes, you know, items in Minecraft, whatever the texture you are, whatever the texture is, you would be it there, and you would just simply put it in this sort of kind of folder structure. Now, the manifest file itself is very, very simple. In terms of the resource or the one that you download from Minecraft, it will already have this pre-filled in, and all you've got to do is just fill in the, the actual gap. So in this case, then what I've done is, as I've clearly labeled it here, is skill 85's Poggers merch that was converted from Java to Bedrock by myself. In terms of the UUIDs, these need to be unique every single time. So when creating your pack, you do need to actually make a new UUID. In a lot of cases, you get some people, they'll just go to the end, they'll take the last letter, and they'll change it to something else, and they think that that makes it sufficient. That does not... Nine times out of ten, when you do that, that will break the pack. It won't work, and it will th usually throw back weird errors in Minecraft. So you do need to put your own UUID. Now, I do this just by using an app on Windows 10 called GUI Generator. I can just get it to generate me a GUID and copy it in. However, if you don't have an app, you can use an online version. The one that I recommend using is the online GUI Generator. Uh, it's UUID Generator.net. You just simply just copy this and paste it in the actual slot here and, cop and do that. That way it creates a unique ID for your pack and that's how your Minecraft will know that that's always your pack because that's your unique ID associated with it. So once you've got your textures in the right format and you've got your manifest set up correctly and you've provided your icon, it's time to add it into Minecraft. Now if you're on Minecraft uh, Bedrock Edition, you can simply add it to an archive, zip it up, and then just rename it to dot mc pack oh don't want to rename all of that try that again yes now as you can see it now turns into a minecraft pack you can run that it will import it and it will do the usual sort of importing successful and so on so once the pack's imported then and it says that this is successful 
you can just go to settings, global resources, and you'll be able to see my packs, and you'll be able to see your pack listed in here. In this instance, then we have this Gallery Fires Pogba's merch pack, as you can see here. Now you can activate it here if you wish, and that means that any world that you go into, whether that be a realm, server, whatever, this pack will always take president, and so therefore everyone will be wearing this Gallery Pogba's merch. Or if you want it just for your own single world, and then it doesn't affect any other world you go into, you can simply go down to your world, add it, go to your resource pack, and in this case add it on, which is what I've got in this world here. And then all you have to do then is just load into your world. And then have a look at whatever it is that you've done. So whether it, in this instance, whether you've created uh, different pickaxes or, you know, whether you've changed different blocks or whether you've given, you know, facelifts to different things, whatever it is that you've changed, you come into your world and test it. And in this case, I place down some armor. I get Eskel's Pogger's merch. Hello. And that's it. That is how you put your resource pack into Minecraft. Now, if you're on Win uh, on mobile, rather than renaming the zip file to .zip, you just simply copy the folder into your actual Minecraft folder, which if we go back to the desktop for a moment, this will be your dot, your com.mojang folder. You just simply go to your resource packs here, and then you would paste it into here. And that is how you add your very own resource pack into Minecraft. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.